hey guys welcome to another tutorial video my name is william in this video i wanted to talk about the kcb buni api this video will be limited to users within the east africa region and part of central africa if you are not from these regions you can be able to engage my other videos as this video will not be that useful to you i want us to just look at how to create an account in this developers portal and then after that, we will be able to go into other videos where we'll be getting the access token, and then we can be able to interact with the APIs that are available. If you want to create an account, you come to this end here where you have the login stroke sign up. I'm going to click on it. And um, after that, of course, if you want to create an account, you can be able to click here and uh, you will... Uh, reached this end where you'll be asked for the username and then you continue to self-register but for my case i already have an account so i'd just like to type in my username and my password then i will hit uh, continue and now i am in the sandbox of the boony apis and of course just to show you we have uh, several apis the first one is fund, funds transfer then we have HF savings withdrawal, HFT transaction status. You can be able to check the status of a transaction. We have M-Pesa Express API. Then, of course, we have payment B2B, that is business to business, payment business to customer, B2C. And then query code transaction, query organization um, information. And then you can also query a transaction and you can validate the external bill so those are the apis that are available and pretty much you might be able to go through all of them i want us to just see how we can be able to get the credentials that we can use in the subsequent videos to create the tokens and then be able to work on every other thing that we want in this uh, case so I want to just select one of um, the APIs. So for example, I will select the M-Pesa Express. And once we select it, I will scroll down because what I'm interested in is getting the credentials. So what I'm going to do once I scroll down, of course, the available gateways are sandbox. And what I would like to do is to go to this place where we have subscription. And I'm going to click subscribe. Now we will be brought to the subscription and key generation wizard. So I will click on this and it will give me an option of typing in my the, the name of the application. So we can say call it app one like that. After that, you can be able to choose the per token quarter. So in this case, you have um how many requests per access token you can be able to limit it like that or you can be able to say that each token you have unlimited requests so you can choose between the values that we have here after that you can be able to put some application description which i it's optional so i'll just click ahead and then i will click next again and after that we are brought to the place where we are to generate the keys you can see the token endpoint is this uh, one here. So I will click next and then uh, also just click next. And now we have an access token, but this token, of course, has a lifetime of um, 60 seconds. If we click finish, then we have our app, app one here, and we can be able to get the credentials for us to generate the tokens ourselves. So once I click it here, you can see we have the consumer key and then we also have the consumer secret here. So these are the values that I'm going to copy and save in a safe place because they are the ones that I am going to use to make the requests. In the next episode, we will be talking about generating the access token and we will be using Carl. Thank you very much for following this tutorial video up until, the, until this point. If you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe. And you can also click the like button to 
give us a thumbs up and you can also shoot a comment within the comment section. Thank you very much.